Welcome to another session. In today's session, we are going to see how we can communicate with the ET200S module via Profibus. First of all, we have to set Profibus address of the module. Next, we will connect our CPU with the ET200 module via Profibus cable. Next, we will go to the Semantic Manager software, create a new project here, and we will right click here, insert new s7300 station go to its hardware configuration we will go to the rack s7300 and drag and drop our rail here next we will insert our cpu here and click ok next we will right click on this dp and add master system here we can set the profibus address of the plc in our case it will be 2 new and in the network settings, we can set transmission rate. The most common is 1.5. Select here profile as DP. Click on and it will create a Profibus master system network. Next, we will go to the Profibus DP. Expand this ET200 SP. Next, we will go to this tab Profibus DP. And here we will go to the ET200 S. And here we will select this. 151-1 basic module we'll tag and drop here select the address go to its properties and in the network setting we can set the transmission rate for the profibles and the profile as the deep click ok and it will add our module here now we have to add the io cards or modules for this one we will go here and first of all we will add a power supply module we'll tag and drop here next we have to add a di module and we can select as a a channel di module here and next we have to add a digital output module you can again select a channel here now as you can see that our addresses are starting from 0.0, .0 to 0.7 same way the output address is actually save and compile next we will go to the blocks in the ob1 we can make a simple logic here can try first input to activate the first output of the ET module. Next, we have to download the whole project into the PLC. As you can see that as I turn on the first input I0.0, .0, it turns on the output Q0.0. .0. So our module is communicating with our CPU or Profibus network.